here in the Saints Gaming CA2 stream. And then, of course, Valorant on Saints Gaming CA. But, of course, our matchup that we have here, St. Clair Saints up against Missouri Southern State University. And I'm going to tell you as it is. Saints are heavily favored. Considering one, they only dropped the one series in the regular season. With that 7-1 and one record, Missouri Southern State, 1-7. and seven. Yet, here we are in the playoffs. Interesting to say the least. But of course, you're starting lineups here for your St. Clair squad. we got Seawads and Slaya, Cootie, and Ruper. Meanwhile, on the side of Missouri Southern State U, we have Clud, Serious Rules, Kevo Loves Ya, and Dendier's Kai. Or Dendier's Key. There we go. And we can keep it away from the kill feed for the most part to start off this one because let's be honest, it has been nothing but green here for St. Clair. Able to take majority of this first initial hard point. Kevo loves you is going to get a grenade for their troubles, unfortunate to say the least there. How in the world are Saints managed to pull out of that one? These shots are absolutely on point to the point where they're even taking each other out. What a way to start off this series here. In this nice playoff game, Rupert's got themselves a pretty solid angle on multiple members. You can kind of see Missouri Southern State trying to do the buddy system of sorts. Two or three members going together throughout the buildings, but it is kind of aligning them up whenever the Saints can get the upper hand on them. Here with Cootie, he's going to find one, and Slaya there going to find the other. Just opening up the doorway for this hard point to get picked up once again. Missouri Southern State got the one point on the board. Saints on the roll since then. And Cootie's just able to stay in that building, stay uh, capturing that hard point, and feeling rather comfortable to say the least. Rupert finding themselves a nice little double as well, getting the nade involved in there. Just everything seems to be landing so far here for your Saints. Rupert whips the pistol out, is able to take care of Dandier. Next hard point goes on through, but we already see that Enslay is there, ready and waiting, already taking that one on down. Some good shots coming out here from the side of Missouri Southern State, though, to try and open this one up. They just have to deal with Enslay. But he's been rather sneaky, actually. Playing for his life. Gonna wait for them to come to him. Waits for the hear the footsteps, and sure enough, moves on forward. Takes care of one. The reinforcements has arrived. Seawad's body scooty once again here. A little bit of an accidental TK, but it does not matter. The Saints have the numbers. They have the aim capabilities this time by, and have been successful at taking this hard point once again. It was pretty good there from Enslay when that hard point first initially popped up to just play for their life, not get panicked that they were the last one on sight, and just kind of throw their life away. Sure, let the point go neutral for just a little bit, and try to get some frags on the way out, and sure enough, that's exactly what they did. Able to get to the went back in their control as well. 125 currently on the board for them now. As the next hard point is now underway down towards the southwest. Currently in control of Missouri Southern State, but it is going to be the rest of the Saints trying to pile on through here. Cootie finds one, finds two, finds a third as well. Absolute madman here opening up this one. And it even gets the grenade kill on top of that for good measure. The little cherry on top of sorts. Wide open hard point. It just took one or two Saints to make that done. Saints absolutely on fire. Putting on a clinic here so far here in game number one. <laughs> good, uh, good notice there from the back room. As of course they did mention that Cootie seven <laughs> kill streak. Enslay a four kill streak as well. So they have all the utility in the bag. Finally, Cootie is going to fall here. And Slaya still has it for the time being, though. Rupert is just going to find a triple for themselves, why don't we? Let's go all the way to Sea Watch. He's going to take care of Dandy up in the sky. Or Dandy up in the second floor, rather. Just keeping it nice and comfortable here for the Saints. Hard point now up to the north. Saints already in position once again. And Slaya is surrounded. Yeah, that kill streak's going to be ended. I don't care how good you are. That was four people all surrounding you. Nothing you can really do there. Going to end up falling on losing the streak for the time being but it delayed long enough to the point where they could just absolutely face check that like a pro okay just absolutely on another level here so far 200 club is now going to be successful here for the Saints just a couple minutes into this one 
Missouri Southern State trying to find their way onto the point. They do have a little bit of a surround, but before they get the opportunity to even start going oh. in, they're literally drop shopping. <laughs> drop shopping. <laughs> drop shotting kids out here. Absolutely fantastic plays coming out here from the Saints. Some extremely aggressive moves, but you can really tell that they're just able to get away with it from their gun skill alone and the team, or gun skill plus the team play, not completely alone, but the communication just on an absolute another level here. And Slay up to the rooftops as well. Is going to get taken down though, so this could be the opening here for Missouri Southern State to maybe try and bring this one to a couple more minutes. They have to get on there rather quickly though. Seawads finds one. Rupert going to get another, and then let's make that another two. Let's make that a game number one. St. Clair Saints in a very, very dominating game number one here over Missouri Southern State University here on Hardpoint. Yeah, this last little bit here from Ruber was absolutely nuts. Just finding three targets all within just a matter of moments. 250 to 16. Beautifully done, to say the least there. We'll have to see what happens here for Missouri Southern State going into game number two and see if their search and destroy is a little bit stronger. But with that, we're going to take this to a very, very quick break as we get the lobby all figured out here for game number two. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.
All right, thank you everybody for sticking around. We have game number two here, Missouri Southern State University up against St. Clair College. Missouri definitely going to the drawing board and trying to figure out what can happen here, maybe in this search and destroy, because that hard point was very, very well done by the St. Clair Saints, to say the least. And it looks like we got ourselves a bit of a false start. Maybe some rolls or somebody disconnected. So looks like we'll be also back to the drawing board real quick as we get this lobby figured out.
All right, Saints Nation, take three or take four even. And we are back into the action here. Search and destroy. Got Sigler Saints up one after a very, very dominating hard point. But now Missouri going to try and start things off on the attacking side and see if they can get this bomb down. Of course, get the two Saints pretty much right where the point is. Try to get the bomb down for just a second. Ruper trying to deal with one. He gets the pistol, though. Does manage to take care of Sirius. And with only one player left, Dendir up in the midsection. Enslay is not even in the lobby, but I guess we don't even need him at this point here. St. Clair Saint is going to take the first round here of this search and destroy. <laughs> Cootie going to be finding the final kill. Found a couple of them in that one between Cootie and Ruper, but unfortunately there for the side of Missouri State, they went for that, that bomb site. They could not quite get it down halfway immediately. One of the Saints were right there on their tail. Could not get the job done this time by. Now we'll have to see what happens when the Saints have the opportunity to plant the bomb. Where do they opt to go? It will be Rupert picking this one up for the time being. Looking like maybe towards the b site grid. More towards mid. We'll never know. It's just quite yet. Bump it up. Keep fired away. Rupert's grenade is actually going to find some value. Taking care of KSA Flood. Going to allow them to go a little bit more towards that A site where Rupert is going to be able to clear up Dendir. So it should be a free plant here for the Saints as of this moment. Sure enough, going to be locked down. Kev and Sirius on the way back. Kev going to go down. Sirius going to go down. Could not quite swing around in time. And St. Clair clean that up nicely to a lead. Just once again, solid job all around there for the Saints. Whenever that player did happen to jump out, you had two eyes on them immediately. Even if you went one for one, it did not matter in that instance. All right, Missouri starting back on the attacking side here. Bomb going to be picked up by Kev, and they're going to look towards that B side pretty quickly, it looks like. Can they open the door with them? Because we've seen Rupert finding lots of value here with these needs so far in this entire series, especially that one that started things off in the search and destroy on the last attacking round. Kudi does manage to spot the one, and it is going to be shots fired. Rupert finds a double from the back, actually. Dendir's going to pull one out as well. Does manage to take care of Rupert. Bomb is going to be planted. Never mind. Kudi is right there. It's all up to Dendir to try and get something done as they are the last one alive. No bomb in the pocket either. So as we do see, Enslea and Cootie just in range to uh, stop the bomb at some point. Never mind. They're actually just all going to go towards A site. Are they going to call this perfectly? No, they're actually going to start rotating B. As we do see Dendir trying to make a sneaky move along the outside to actually go towards that A point. The Saints collapse in on the B. Realize that, hey, there's absolutely nothing there. Where did they go? And Dendir... Maybe looking for the ninja plant. Can they get there in time? Couple seconds left on the clock. They are going to get there, but so are the Saints firing squad. From three different angles. A valiant effort. But St. Clair going to take this one three rounds up. So far, so good here for Saints Nation. Saints back on the attack here for this next round. Missouri Southern State U just having such a hard, hard time staying alive in these early portions. It just seems like two of their members get evaporated pretty well instantly. And we are going to see the Saints basically just group up and rush down towards this mid-section, maybe a little bit more towards the A-section. How did C-Wads manage to pull out of that one? Does manage to get the one, but Kevo is going to be right there to get the one for one. Saints charge on through. Rupert's going to get the better, but Kevo gets one more on the board. But they are about to be sandwiched as the last player alive. All eyes on them. Nowhere to go. Missouri Southern Saint going to be eliminated once again here. St. Clair losing a couple members that time by, but not enough to scare him too badly. Up four now. Slayer wasn't even aiming down his sights yet at the point where that 
bullet made contact. Just everything going in the favor here of the Saints. Fantastic reaction so far. Saints definitely well on their way to getting game number two at this pace. And making that round of eight berth here in these NACE playoffs just that much closer. Collision course down on the A site, it looks like. Gonna have C1 odds, does find it. Kevo, and Kevo did have the bomb as well, so it is down on site. Dendir is there for backup, but everybody else on the on the reinforcement side gets absolutely eliminated. It's all up to KSA Clud, and Clud is gonna absolutely try their damnedest, but as they hop the hop the ledge, they immediately run into a St. Clair player. Once again, all points covered. St. Clair, 5-0, game point. Once again, the effort is there. They're absolutely trying their dangdest, but Missouri just cannot find an answer here for the offense or the defense of the St. Clair Saints as of this moment. A couple standouts to note here. Roper 9-2 and two currently in this one. Cootie 5-1 and one as well. Some fantastic KDs across the board for the Saints. Serious rules definitely having a hard time getting jump started, but hey, any rounds can be the round to get themselves on the board here. Buddy system coming out here from Missouri State, but the Saints are right there as well. Even pre-firing the next angle to see if Kevo runs around. Cootie had all eyes on them, however. The first buddy system is down. Seawaz just has to deal with serious rules now. Still looking for the first elimination of the game. They do manage to get it, taking care of Seawaz. Bomb, however, is planted on that B site now. And Cootie has all eyes on to Sirius, and that will shut them down. Missouri State will fall here in game number two. Saints with a clean 6-0 here in game number two on Search and Destroy. With that, of course, we will be throwing it to one more break here because you, you can tell the lobbies. The lobby raid boss is definitely a hard one to say the least here for Call of Duty sometimes. So we're going to throw this one back to a quick break. Control coming up next, maybe even match point. All right, the lobby raid boss is down. We are back into action here with some control. Missouri Southern State fighting for their playoff life here because the Saints have just been able to have full control on them. But some good starts across the board for I guess both play or both teams rather. Each of them answering each other's eliminations. Rupert on this high ground is just an absolute nuisance though. Dendier had a relatively decent start as well. 
Saints have not been able to necessarily get any sort of time on the capture point, and careful loves you. In the back with the flank after having a very, very odd spawn, but when <laughs> immediately gets turned on. Just like that. See was in the background as well. Just Saints from these other angles are just absolutely shredding on through. And you don't even think the Look at the mini map that uh that little number five way down completely off the mini map. The fact that that's legal is absolutely hilarious. And Slay is gonna end up going down here, but Saints still have not necessarily touched the control point. I am casting this one backwards. Saints are the defenders, so they're not the ones who actually have to uh, touch this capture point in the slightest here. So they're actually doing a fantastic job of just keeping Sirius to, uh, Southern State off of it. We do see uh, Sirius had a solid attempt there, but between the entirety of the Saints just finding themselves an elimination here or there, takes care of them. Only Kevo loves you. Still on the site as of right now towards that B site. Just trying to stay sneaky as possible because every one of their reinforcements just gets chipped away over and over and over again and that will be timed out. St. Clair Saints on the solid defense going to secure round one here in control. I still find it absolutely astonishing that you can go that far off the map and not be deemed out of bounds but I mean this game be quirky sometimes. Now we'll have to see what happens. The Saints are actually on the attack this time. I'm not bluffing you, I swear. But uh, how fast do they try to blitz this point? They try to slowly but surely clear it out and then dive on through, or are they just going to send it? We'll have to see a little bit of a 3-1 push to start things off towards that A site. And the Saints are already on site as majority of the members are down towards the B site. Cootie down by himself actually completely clears out the site. Very well could move over if they really, really wanted to. The pressure is now towards that A site, though. However, Z-Wads is going to be able to clear things up with Rooper. And the ticks are going to be starting to wind down here. Kudi has about one tick down, or over halfway done here on point A. Meanwhile, the rest of the Saints are on point B. Nothing for Missouri to even hang on to at this point here. Dendier's going to end up falling. Clud's going to end up falling. A's already secured. It's just a matter of dealing with B. And as the Saints just rotate, they're catching every one of them out of the spawns. They're finally going to take care of Rooper, but it's all for naught. The rotation there and the movement from the Saints was just too dang efficient. And now this is match points. Round of eight playoffs right around the corner for the Saints if we can get one more. Well, Missouri Southern State, you, you, it's a, uh, it's now or never, you basically need to play perfect Call of Duty. I don't wish that on anybody, that is some tough task ahead of you here, but we'll have to see what goes on through. Rupert looks like he's going to his favorite spot, absolutely, we're going off the map once again. I'm sure Missouri has to be kind of on to this at some point though, right, going up to the high ground and trying to make this happen. Oh yeah, going to be matched up there, but, uh. Takes out the pistol and takes care of him nice and quick. And now you're all the way on the crane. The most ridiculous of angles here in Call of Duty. In fact, that's kind of like a pseudo spawn camp as well. It's just absolutely disgusting. Oh my god. Trooper and wads. Absolutely tearing on through here. Oh, it's starting to get challenged a little bit though. Clud trying to mess with them a little bit. Cootie, however, immediately just going to help their boy. Time just ticking away, just about 30 seconds or so. Enslayer's going to come out here and join the party at an even higher angle, apparently. I'm at a loss for words here with the way that this is actually effective in this matchup. Look, I come from RTS and I've seen my share of cheese, but this is definitely up on the list for the most devious cheeses. As there is 10 seconds left to go. Okay, <laughs> Rupert's like enough and Slayer and just drops a nade on them. <laughs> Absolutely insane to say the least here. The Saints in very, very dominant fashion. I know I'm kind of joking around here, but it's just because the Saints had such a dominant hand on this entire series. They are going to run through this one with extreme ease. Round of eight now in their pockets for later on 
Um, I believe it'll be in this weekend coming up. We'll see him either Saturday or Sunday. And not much else to really say for this one. So I just want to give, of course, a big thank you to everybody for tuning in. Ended up being a very, very quick one, but it just goes to show 